You might have heard about some of the AI apps that have been released recently, and maybe have even started using few of them. These AI tools like ChatPDF and Custom GPT AI have become very helpful for people, and there is a good reason for that. In the past, if you want to search for a simple answer in a very long document, then you have to spend a lot of time scrolling through so many pages. Now, with the help of AI, things have become much easier. So how do developers are creating and using these AI tools? While many developers are using a special framework called Langchain, which is an open source. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to Langchain and show you how it works and how you can create these amazing AI tools. So let us get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So what is Langchain? Langchain is an open source developer framework that allow AI developers to combine large language models with uh, external data source and build large language models application. It is offered in Python and in JavaScript. As you may know, large language models such as GPT-4 have been trained on data up until 2021 which can be a significant limitation. While the general knowledge of these large language models is great, connecting them to external data source and uh, custom computation open up so many doors. And that is exactly what Langchain does. Langchain allows lang a large language model to reference external data sources in the form of reports, uh, documents, and website information while generating an answer. This means that our large language model will have up-to-date access to the external data source. Recently, Langchain has experienced a significant surge in popularity, especially after the launch of GPT-4 in March. This was thanks to its versatility and the many possibilities it opens up when paired with a large language model. So now let us talk about how does Langchain work. Alright, so how does Langchain works? Langchain works by making large amount of data easier for large language model to use. It works by breaking the data into smaller chunks which are then stored in a vector store. This makes it possible to quickly retrieve the information that we need without having to load the entire dataset into memory. Langchain can be used to create chatbots that can answer your questions even if they are very complex and open-ended. It can also be used to create apps that can take an actions, such as surfing the web or sending an email. And here's an analogy that will help you understand how does Langchain works. Imagine that you have a very big book that you must read but you don't have time to read it. Langchain will work as a mini Google for you and your book and it will help you retrieve the information you need very quickly without having to read the whole book. Next, let's have a practical example of how Langchain works. Alright guys, before we start, I just want to mention that the link for this notebook will be in the description of this video. If you want to follow along, please download the file and follow along with me. Okay, so here we are going to have a practical example to show how Langchain works. First, we are installing Langchain by using this command and then we are setting the environmental variable here. Please note that you have to create uh, an open API key from your account and load it here in order for this to work. Okay. Now we will see how Langchain can be used to extract the data from PDF. First, we will install the by PDF, and then here, from uh, Langchain, from the document loader in Langchain, we are going to import the by PDF loader. 
This code here will first import the byte PDF loader class from the Langchain document loader module and then this uh, class is used to load PDF files and split them into individual pages. The next line of code creates a new instance of the PyPDF loader class and passes the path to the PDF file as an argument. The load and split method of the PyPDF loader class is then called to load the PDF file and split it into individual pages. The load and split method return a list of the individual pages in the PDF file. The code then assign the list of pages to the pages variable. This variable can be used to access the individual pages in the PDF file. Here we are then printing the length of pages. We have 688 pages. We are assigning the first page, page 0 at index 0 to page. And then here in uh, print page, we are printing the first 500 character, as we can see here. And we can also print the page metadata. So that's how we can extract data using Langchain uh, from uh, PDF document. Okay. Let me just run the code to make sure it's working fine. I'm not going to install the libraries because they are already installed. So let's run this one here. And then we'll check the lands, assign page 0 to page. And then we are going to print the first 500 character. And for page.metadata, yes, we are going to print it here as we can see. Now also, Langchain can be used to extract data from an Excel files. The code first imports the CSV loader class from Langchain to document loader module. This class is used to load CSV files and return a list of document. The next line of code create a new instance of the CSV loader and passes the pass to the CSV uh, file as an argument. The load method of the CSV loader class is then called to load the CSV file and return the list of document. The load method return a list of document object, where each document object represents a row in the CSV file. The code then assigns a list of uh, document to the data uh, variable. The variable now can then be used to access the individual document in the CSV file. So let us run the code and make sure that it is working. And then we are going to print. And we can see here that we have to do data pre-processing uh, before using the information. Langchain can also be used uh, to uh, load data and information or extract uh, information from a YouTube video. Imagine that uh, you have a very long video and you don't have time to watch it. So you don't want to skip some part and go backward and forward in order to find the right information. You can use Langchain to extract the whole video as a text and then you can search uh, for exactly the information that you need. So let us now explain the code here. So first we are going to import YouTube loader from Longchain document loader. Then we have to install these two libraries. The YouTube transcript API library is used to get the transcript of a YouTube video. And the PyTube library is used to download and extract the audio and video content of a YouTube video. Once the YouTube transcript API and PyTube libraries are installed, we can use them in our Python code. Here we are using the method from YouTube URL to load the data or to extract the information or the trans transcript from a YouTube video here as an example. Then we are using the loader to load the transcript. Then the code documents equal loader.load load is, a, uh, is used to load the transcript of, a, of the YouTube video specified by the loader variable. The, as we said, the loader variable is an instance of the YouTube loader class, which is used to load the YouTube videos and their 
transcript. The load method of the YouTube loader class take an optional argument called add underscore video underscore information. When it is set to true, the load method will return a dictionary of metadata about the YouTube video, such as the title, the description, and the thumbnail URL. And that's why we set it here to true. The document variable will contain a list of document objects, where each object represents a single transcript of the YouTube video. The document object will have the following attribute, page content, the text content of the transcript, lookup underscore string, a string that can be used to uniquely identify the transcript, and metadata, the metadata about the YouTube video, if, as we said here, the add video information is set to true. Then the code here is used to print the first 500 characters of the text content of the first transcript in the document list. So let us run the code and make sure it is working. So we are going to run the following to load the YouTube loader. I'm not going to install because it's already installed. I'm going to assign the YouTube example video to the loader. And then I'm going to load. It's going to take a little bit time here to load the transcript. And then we are going to load the data into the document and then print the first 500 character. And as you can see, it is working. Okay. Now the last example we are going uh, to use is uh, to load the Wikipedia page for machine learning and print the first 500 characters of the text content of the page. The first code here um, imports the web page loader class from the langchain.documentloader module. This class is used to load web pages and return a list of document. The next line of code create a new instance of the web page loader and passes the URL of the Wikipedia page as an argument. The load method of the web page uh, loader class is then called to load the Wikipedia page and return a list of document. The load method here return a list of document object where each object represent a single paragraph on the Wikipedia page. The code then assigns the list of document to the documents to the variable. This variable can be used to access the individual paragraph in the Wikipedia page. And this last line here will print the, fi the first 500 character of the text content of the first paragraph in the document list. So let us run our code and make sure it is working. First cell is done. And yeah, it is working. And as you can see here, we have a lot of empty spaces. And again, this means that we have to do data pre-processing before using this data. All right, guys, this is just a short tutorial in order to show you uh, how Langchain uh, works and what are the possibilities. It is just an introduction. In the future, I'm going to create a series of videos that we are going to see a more advanced examples of using Langchain with large language models. All right, guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new about Langchain. If you have any question, please leave a comment down below. And if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more content on Langchain. Thanks for watching.